Hey there. First off, let me preface this video by saying that I'm going to be talking at many points about the Republican Party. In some cases, I'm going to be talking about people on the right. Please note that if this doesn't represent you, if the things I'm saying in the video do not represent you, then I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about in general. Okay, this is a not all statement right from the start. So, all right. I have no problem with conservatives who promote traditional family living. You can be pro-family without being anti-LGBT and without being against strong independent women, career-driven women. What would really show whether you're bigoted in those areas would be if we were able to see how you would react to if a family member came out as being on the LGBT spectrum and how you would treat a daughter or granddaughter or sister who strives to be career-driven. Would you constantly have to tell them that you disapprove of them, or would you accept them? Yes. We have no bananas. You can still be pro-family, even if you give other people choices and love them regardless. Being authoritarian is authoritarian. It doesn't matter if you think you have God on your side. To me, when someone uses their religion as an excuse to be authoritarian, it's far worse and cuts far deeper, at least for religious people who make up 70% of the United States, than when someone on the left does it in the name of social justice. At least when the left does it, you can laugh it off. When a religious person does it, it's an attempt to wield powerful institutions and widespread brainwashing to wield power. And unless you have stepped away from religion entirely, it's hard just to laugh off. This is why when there's a bunch of crazy leftists yelling in your face, they're powerless. They're a group of crazy people. They have no real authority. They have no power unless they get camera footage of you reacting poorly to them. And sure, at that point, it's time to run. Run away. You don't want them throwing frozen water bottles and milkshakes at you. Or destroy your camera equipment because you don't look liberal enough and have a camera. Or anything like that. But, you know, their effect on your thinking certainly doesn't make you want to adhere to what they're pushing. It doesn't make you want to consider anything that they're saying. They're not even successful in making you feel guilty about anything. They're simply a nuisance. Something you want to stay away from. You want to tell them, please, just leave me alone. But that'll just make it worse. It'll just escalate the situation further. So yeah, time to run away. They really have no power other than making you want to stay away from them. But religious people do have power. At least, if it's the right religion, right? They don't even have to gather in huge numbers to have that power. But, you know, sometimes they do. How about all that fear that the Patriot Prayer people pushed? You know, the, the notion of uh, you don't love America if you don't love Trump, right? How about the Proud Boys? Oh, aren't they lovely? Republicans will make excuses for pretty much anything that Bible-based religious people do, you know, in the name of their religion. You know, unless it's killing people or something, but yeah, just, just about anything they'll give excuses for. Unless it's Islam, you know has to be a Bible-based religion. It can't be Islam. If it's Islam, they're nervous and wary of someone just wanting to take a break to wash their feet. So yeah, the religious people have to have a Bible-based religion in order to get that kind of support, especially if it includes the New Testament, right? Republicans will promote and defend people who are obviously crazy, like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Thankfully, there were the 11 Republicans who had the sense to vote her out. But, you know, how about the people still defending uh, Lynn Wood? Yeah! Strong Wood! Come on! Yeah! But, you know, if you have the right religion, and you're on the right, it doesn't matter how crazy you are. You're okay in their book. As long as you pray to white Jesus to forgive your shins... It's all good, nothing to worry about. The only way that religious people, who are normally looked up to by Republicans, could lose support is if they started saying things about systemic racism. 
And at that point, they lose their religious card entirely and get put in a leftist propaganda box. If someone has the right religion, and they're on the right, they can wield as much power as they want, and the corruption will never be questioned, at least not by anyone on the right. People on the left will question it, but you know, leftists are just anti-God and therefore irrelevant, right? regardless of the fact that most people on the left are religious as well. But the motives for the religious, power-hungry, right-wing politician will never be questioned by Republicans. They're rich and pure like sunlight because they have God on their side. And as long as they ask for forgiveness from God, all is forgiven and they should never be pestered about it again unless you hate religion. Look out! Socialism! But the Republican Party isn't doing so well right now. I never thought I'd see the party so spectacularly falling apart, bursting at the seams, and flailing wildly. Danger! Danger! My hooks are flailing wildly! As many of the things that they claim to be so principled in are showing as the lies and virtue signaling that they always have been. I'm sorry to say this, but when it comes to the Republican Party, particularly those in power, there's really not much left other than fear, hate, extremism, and conspiracy theories. They're not even the status quo anymore. They're completely lost. Many of them feebly clinging to Trump's pant legs with everything they have. I've never seen more projection from Republicans than I have the past two weeks. I mean laughable projection. Yep, Biden's a dictator who wants people to praise him and submit. <laughs> what do you have left, Republicans? Trumpism? It's going to take you at least six years to build up something worthwhile. If you try to build up power without addressing some of your issues, you're not going to be Republicans anymore. You'll be exactly what the far left has been calling you since so many of you became Trump cultists. You all have some serious introspection to do, Republicans. You need to re-evaluate what you stand for. What does it mean to be a Republican? Are you going to pine for the TV and movie version of the 1950s? Leave it to Beaver. Are you going to attempt to use populism as a veneer for dominionism? How about populism as a veneer for fascism? How much introspection will you do, Republicans? What are you going to offer us in the midterms and the 2024 election? We'll just have to see, right? Thanks for watching.